Hi-Fi Rush was 2023's sleeper hit and Xbox's sleeper exclusive that came out to great acclaim from both critics and gamers alike. And it was honestly the reason I thought about plugging my Xbox Series S back in. Well, turns out I didn't because it came out on PlayStation. I mean, seriously, does the team at Xbox, cough, cough, Phil Spencer, not realize what they're doing? I mean, as someone who spends way more time on their PlayStation 5 than their Series S, I can safely say that I'm very happy with the fact that games such as this, Grounded, and Sea of Thieves are coming to my favorite platform alongside the Nintendo Switch. But honestly, guys, let's... Let's be realistic here from a business perspective. How does Xbox, how does Microsoft plan on keeping their gaming division afloat by just handing out their, you know, system seller exclusives? I get it. Hi-Fi Rush is a minuscule example of that. It was a sleeper game. No one really paid attention to it sales-wise, even though the game is wonderful in its own right. But how does the Xbox brand uh, want to stay afloat? I mean, Sea of Thieves was literally many people's reason to get an Xbox uh, console. That, that was a ma massive game for, for Microsoft. What's next, Forza? I mean, why are you guys handing them out like Halloween candy? Uh, it, it seems as though Xbox has really thrown in the towel with this release because, I mean, you're literally playing a AAA Xbox exclusive on a Sony console. Just, just let that uh, compute real quick. Ridiculous. This is a review channel, this is a news channel. We are going to be looking at the reality of the situation, but I don't want to steer away from the fact that I ended up purchasing Hi-Fi Rush's PlayStation 5 port the day it came out. So let's talk about the game in and of itself a little bit. Let's have some fun here. What I love about Hi-Fi Rush is it's so familiar, yet unlike anything I've ever played, it's a refreshing hybrid title with rhythm game elements meshed in to a hack and slash beat em up. Honestly, this is a must play for fans of games such as Jack Grind Radio with its cel shaded art style, and also a standout title for fans of the beat em up genre or the hack and slash genre, drawing parallels gameplay wise to Star Wars Jedi Survivor or Rise Son of Rome with its fluid beat em up gameplay. You know, if you like taking down dozens of enemies with satisfying combos being constantly linked together dodging attacks and all that good stuff then this is definitely the game for you dude hi-fi rush is fun and exhilarating platforming it's minor use of parkour elements it's constant need to learn new enemy attacks and the fact that the game always throws new robots and bosses at you honestly makes it a refreshing game with a refreshing new art style that we have not seen in a long time. It is definitely a must play and although this video is technically not a review video, I would still recommend you go out and buy this game. It's just that I'm very concerned about the future of Xbox. Let me know in the comments if you share the same thoughts. Thanks for watching LA Tech Trends. See you later.